Hey, it's Cynthia Goff, uh, reminding you to create, to liberate, and uh, today's question is, is it really possible for a mom to draw every day? Um, about a week ago, I made a goal um, to do a drawing or a sketch every day, just take half an hour or so and do a drawing or um, a sketch every day. Um, and I actually said I'd do 186 drawings in 186 days because I have, I know a couple of people who are doing the Red Rock Relay um, solo. So 108, they're running 186 miles or about that. I think I've heard different numbers, but right now I'm sticking with 186. Um, so anyway, um, so I was inspired by them, you know, that just seems like an impossible thing, and so what can, I figured, what can I do for myself? And I figured, okay, well, maybe I should do 186 drawings in 186 days. And to me, that is an impossible goal. I mean, it's possible, but it's like one of those whoa goals, like, that's a lot. Um, because where, you know, the last five years, I've probably done, like, this many drawings. So, um... Yeah, so I made that goal about a week ago, and I did one drawing in one week, and basically um, realized that, um, you know, although, yes, I am passionate about drawing and art, and I love it, but there's some issues I need to work through. Um, for me, that came up as um, taking that time for myself and drawing. Um, you know, working on my talents and, and my passion meant that I was being selfish. That was that was a negative mental belief that I had that you know I was I was selfish. And you know, that sounds completely absurd and stupid right now, but that is truly how I felt. Because, you know, you probably some of you already might know that I'm a mom. I have two kids, a three and a five year old and, um, you know, I spend all my time taking care of them, and I love them, um, and, you know, I'll, I would do anything for them, but, you know, in my mind, I thought, well, you know, that's only do spending stuff, spending time with them, or doing things for them, and not, and not, being the best mom that I can be in, you know, being happy and joyful and living my purpose. And so, um, you know, I, I had the example of my mom. I love her. She was the most completely um, selfless person, but she was, she's an artist too, and she completely inspires me, but she, ne she never did anything with it. Um, while we were kids, or, you know, she maybe did a few drawings here and there, paintings, and, um, but I could tell that that was something that she really wanted to do, and she gave up for us, and gave up a piece of her, um, which, you know, I truly believe in sacrificing for our children, and, and, you know, doing all we can for them, and doing, you know, giving our whole lives to them, but we need to be happy, too, in that process. We give our lives happily and joyfully. So for me, right now, that looks like um, living my passion, living my purpose, and inspiring others, and and living whole and alive so that my children can see a happy mom, and that's the best mom that they can, they can have. Um, and, um, you know, of course, do everything I can for them. So that so that negative belief though I had was of being selfish. Um, I realized that, and luckily I realized what what was holding me back because, you know, the whole week I was like, I want to draw, I want to paint, but something's holding me back, and I couldn't figure it out. And then I finally did, and it was like a light bulb, and um, to break through that though. It was an amazing experience. I actually talked to a friend of mine that deals with a lot of energy work and and um, breaking through past negative beliefs that are ingrained in our subconscious. 
And so, um, as I was talking to her and we were working through this, I could feel that lump, that, that thing that was holding me back, like, rise through my body. At first I kind of felt it, you know, down low, and then it was in my stomach, and then in my chest, and then up here, and then it just went away, and it was completely amazing. And afterwards, I remarked that my legs felt so much lighter, and, and it, it was an amazing feeling, and she said, that's because you're free to move. And so I, I, I do, I truly believe that now I'm free to move. And so today I felt inspired to um, get back with my goal, and I'm happy to do that. My, my, my date of completion is, I'm still sticking with July 21st, so there will be a few days where I'll have to do a few um, extra sketches. But I'm going to have 186 drawings by July 21st, 2011. And I'll uh, video blog about that here and let you know my progress. Um, and now I have however many accountability partners here, so you can keep me accountable. Um, but I just feel free and so alive in doing this. And today I felt inspired to you know, to draw a drawing and I just felt so good. I put on my Pandora music and loved it. And so I'll show you, this is the first drawing that I did last week. It's a, um, it's a, I did that from a photo of myself. And then um, this is the one I did today, just from another photo. Um, I, obviously you can tell I love drawing people. And um, I love that, uh, the passion and energy that I get from those people that I draw. So anyway, so just wanted to let you know my goal and um, get um, in up, you can get updated with my progress um, by coming to my YouTube channel, Cynthia Goff or Cynthia Goff.com. And reminding you once again, create to liberate. Thanks.